guys! Bunja here! Welcome back to my channel! Woo! First of all, magre-review ako ng gaming mechanical keyboard. Hmm, ano kaya to? So, ginamit ko itong keyboard na to for like 5 months now and super ganda niya para sa akin. Kaya I think it's time to share it sa inyo. So, yung ginagamit ko ngayon is Havit KB473L RGB Backlit Mechanical Keyboard. Havit is a mechanical keyboard with built-in number pad and labeled volume keys. This is really good if you spend most of your day typing, coding, o kaya naman gaming. A mechanical keyboard is worthwhile upgrade over a cheaper and less comfortable keyboard. The size of Habit KB473L is 445 by 158 by 38 mm. Nagustuhan ko to dahil nung high school ako, nasanay ako na yung mga keyboards ko ay may mga numpad na kaya mostly mas prefer ko yung ganitong style. Next is the interface type. A USB with gold-plated interface which really makes the overall look really classy. Para naman sa cable length, it is 1750mm. Havit Mechanical Keyboard has a very minimalistic and simple design that looks very clean. Itong gaming keyboard na to is made out of plastic but very durable when it comes to quality. Ang kagandahan din nito ay yung texture sa keys niya ay matte finish making it smooth pero hindi masyadong madulas which is very good in terms of gamer kaman or typist. Personally, I really love the fonts chosen for this keyboard because it makes the keyboard very minimalistic and clean. Kumbaga, nasa middle siya ng simple and gamer vibes. As you can see, the LED lights also brighten the characters very well. Now, it's time to explore sa iba pang parts ng keyboard. To be honest, I really like the secondary function keys na ginawa ng Havit dito. Having functions that can open your email, calculator, or other programs na magagamit mo. Underneath the keyboard, it does look simple and clean. Kagandahan nito is that yung keyboard has a rubber fit on four corners. Advantage din ng keyboard na to is yung stand niya. I really think na super stable siya and hindi mag snap back. So, punta naman tayo sa switch style. Yung pinili niya is yung blue switch, meaning non is tactile and clicky. Yung tipong takatakatak-tak, ganun. Takatakatak. Now, I'm going to show you how to control the LED effects. Lastly, the price of Havit KB473L RGB Backlit Mechanical Keyboard cost 2625 O di ba? Sulit na sulit. So ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung pros and cons. For pro, okay, pumiyok, pro pa more. Pro, first of all, pros. Number one, great durable quality. Super ganda ng quality nito, tipong tatagal talaga guys. Number two, all keys are chromatic and anti-ghosting, meaning, nag-able siya mag-adjust sa brightness and backlit style as you needed. Number three, meron siyang customizable backlit. At number four, meron siyang programmable macro key. Kagandahan ka sa mga macro key na to is pwede mo siyang gamitin for gaming and work. Other programs like Photoshop, video editing, calculator, Microsoft Word, o marami pang iba. Ako, personally, ginagamit ko siya for streaming. 
di ba ginagamit ko is OBS. Ngayon, sa OBS, may iba't ibang klaseng transition. For example, opening, closing, tsaka yung mismong live ko. So, pinipindot ko lang yung macro keys for the effects itself. Kadalasan, may kita yung macro definition keys sa mga mamahaling keyboard. Kaya natuwa ako sa pressure 2625, eh meron na siyang ganito. Lastly is the rotary volume control button. Para ka talagang DJ kapag ginagamit mo siya. Super cute. So, pag-usapan naman natin yung cons. Personally kasi, yung space ko dito ay super laki and yung table ko din malaki. So, saktong-sakto lang para sa akin yung keyboard na to. So, if yung space mo ay super liit at kailangan mo lang ng compact keyboard, I highly suggest bumili ka ng mga mechanical keyboard na walang nampal. Para sa akin, maganda tong keyboard na to, especially sa mga taong tight sa budget at naghahanap ng decent keyboard for gaming, streaming, or work needs. It has all the necessary features we needed. Tsaka yung keyboard na to, nagkakahalaga lang ng 2,625, which I think is really cheap at pasok sa budget ng mga students. Lastly, ginamit ko na rin tong keyboard na to for almost 5 months and wala naman akong complain. Super enjoy ako at la lagi ko siyang ginagamit for my gaming and streaming. That's it for my video. If nag-enjoy kayo, don't forget to click that like button and comment down below what do you think about this keyboard. And lastly, if bago ka lang dito, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Ayun lang. Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye. See you again soon. Mwah.